Hello, it's the Seahawks fan with another Go Battle League video, and uh, today we got the brand new Sand Attack Shadow Fly Gun. Now, you do have a uh, Dragon Tail and a uh, Mudshot both available still, but wanted to try out this powerhouse with Sand Attack. Also, gonna have some pretty meta picks in a uh, Cresselia and Lickitung to just have plenty of bulk and some. Movability, just able to just handle things that some other heavy hitters, especially the very nice types that we may encounter, both with uh, grass moves, pseudo grass types. Now, uh, Shadow Fly Gun definitely not one of the recommended Pokemon to use in this open Great League, but. It is incredibly powerful, and I wanted to use it with the new Sand Attack Fast Move. Gonna save that energy on my Lick a Tongue, and we have a Shadow Dragon here. Very meta dragon, and we are able to get a second Dragon Claw, and kaboom! To that dragon. And we reach a last second power whip. Is this enough to take out? The whiz cash it is that fish goes down to a lick of tongues power whip. Beautiful lead into Shadow Arcanine. Definitely another not recommended Pokemon to use. They have a pretty good swap into a zoom wheel. And we do land that earth power. Just gonna have some energy for later. Wanna have a nice amount of energy for that Arcanine or whatever's in the back. Lickitung comes in for Azumarill, and they were not equipped to take out what I had left. Fair, fair enough. Shadow Whisk Cash's time. Let's go for the Dragon Claw, get some to yellow, and we don't want to use any shields just yet. Don't mind uh, taking the energy on my Cresselia, and the Going for a Leaf Tornado, which was a bit of a su surprise. It's got a 50% chance for a double attack drop, which would be incredible. Just going to go for a Grass Knot to get some damage, and I grab a Shield, which is fantastic. I it, it did definitely, I, I don't think it would have been enough to take them out, but I happily grab a Shield with a Grass Knot into a Grass Type. Another Leaf Tornado. They are unlucky. Are they going to get the debuff? They do. And now I can swap into Shadow Flygon. Get that farm down. They do get an attack drop with Skull, so that's not totally bad for them. But they've gotten very robbed with the RNG. Am I going to get the Sand Attack farm down? I do. Let's see what comes up next. It's the Talon Flame. This is actually tricky. I should have gained more energy. This is really tricky. I don't think this is gonna be enough. Am I gonna be able to pull off the win? They have a move. Is it fly? It's Brave Bird and that's a loss to me. Okay. Close battle, but just could not close out the Talon Flame. Now we have a Marsh Chomp. And they're going to be throwing the first move I want to serve, although it would be neutral, but just a little too much damage for me to want to take immediately. Going to get the second charge move in before their second move, and both through at the same time. Are they going to stay in and let me take them out? I think they did, and they are out. Let's see what's in up next. I have a beautiful counter to this Drift Limp, so let's get the Dragon Claw damage in. They are going to Icy Wind and take me out, which is just handy dandy for me. Because Lickitung comes in. And Lickitung is going to be able to lick down this balloon. And it's a uh, Scorchomp in the back. This Scorchomp is not ready for... Cresselia. 
and a grass knot takes out the dragon that did not have enough health left. Now we have an awful lead. Can I recover from this awful lead? Lickitung safe swap is actually pretty decent into this trauma. It was definitely expected to find a uh, trauma at some point leading a dragon. Am I going to be able to pull shields with body slam? I doubt it, but Lick is adding up. And let's get some extra chip damage. Now, what am I going to use? Going to bring back the uh, dragon. And I do get the sand attack farm down, which is fantastic. Going to pull a shield, but may just not be able to flip this matchup, which happens. If there's something like an Annihilate in the back, we could potentially flip the battle and win. Grass Knot's enough for the Gramble. Is the Grass Knot going to be enough for this Greninja? They're going to get to a second move before we can get to two Grass Knots, but it's just short of damage. It happens. A scenario where we would have won with Moonblast, but it's fine. Gorgeous lead into Galarian Stunfisk. Now this person uh, has met their Nightmare lead. Shadow Flygon just totally hardwalled this whole team. And that's just some awful RNG for my opponent and beautiful for this team that I'm using. And I did shield the first move because I was like, Surely there's something I'm missing. Why would they bring in this Electrode? But Hisuian Electrode, it does have a move. And Grass Knot, that can uh, threaten this Ground Dragon. But the last for this person, it's a Shadow Flygon Sweep. With power just too much and they cannot grab their shields off me. They cannot get the damage on me. Now we have a Whiz Cash. The fish is back. How are we going to play this matchup? We're going to go for the Dragon Claw ASAP. And we are going to stay in. Get some more energy. But actually we don't shield the Scald. We go for another Dragon Claw. And we get them to red. We're going to get some energy on our Cresselia. Let's see what comes in. It is a Lick Tongue. Ooh, nice. They're able to win charge attack priority with the body slam. I go for the future sight. Let's see what do they have. Do they have an answer for this whisk for this lick of tongue? They have a Metacham. What move set do they have? It's power punch Metacham. That is annoying. Body slam's able to pull a shield. This is going to be a very close battle with them just going for the power punches. I really didn't need... This was a really tricky battle because I needed to have some nice energy for that Lick of Tongue, but enough health. And I should have shielded up the Flygon. And I'm going to be able to get the bait with Grass Knot grabbing the last shield. But I cannot reach that future sight in time. Which may have been enough for a knockout. Tough start in that battle for me. But now we have a lantern lead into Lickitung safe swap. We land the earth power so we can get some real nice revenge with this Cresselia for Lickitung. They're in about Grass Knot range. And now we have a Mandibuzz, which I sped up this battle a lot faster because of this matchup. Cresselia v Mandibuzz is not a good matchup. And uh, what we're going to bring back, Shadow Flygon. And this is a qu quite, quite an annoying thing to take down without having... Anything that's super effective against this Pokemon. 
but it is something that's just so good. And I do want to save Flygon for the end game because of its power, the damage output it has. And finally, we get the Vulture out. We're going to power whip with the Lickitung. We're going to force the Lantern to throw some energy, although they could have gotten a farm down. But we have Dragon Claw time and goodbye. They should have, they, they needed more energy to take us out, to get a surf charged up. Now we save swap Lickitung into Shadow Dragonair. Are they going to let us land this body slam? They do. Let's go. Going to be in a good position to deal with this dragon. They do save the energy and they are making our energy pretty much worthless. But what are we going to be able to do, to do? I may as well get some whatever chip damage I can get. It's going to be a little tricky because I'm going to be forced to double shield if I don't want to use Cresselli for trying to defeat three Pokemon pretty much. I cannot get the farm down. I do throw the Dragon Claw. It goes shielded, which is actually a big surprise. They're going to get the knockout. Not just yet. So I'm able to get to a Dragon Claw for a shield into... Oh no. It gets damage. Up against Politoed. And do... Do I have what it takes to take out this Politoed with Cresselia? They have gotten the attack drop. Is a second... Is a, is the grass not going to be enough to get them out in time? Am I going to have needed future sight? I... They survive on literally 1 HP and the dream come true to win with the Politoed. I was... Just, 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 just unable to uh, win that battle. Now we have another fantastic lead into the Raichu. This mouse is not ready to take down the ground dragon. And I'm going to double shield and go for the sand attack farm down. Unless you're playing Pokemon Go now, you really do not have never heard of that. And Flygon is getting ready for the sweep once again. It has the perfect team composition. And this Ninetales is a goner. Goodbye. Now let's see. We have Bashidon. Beautiful. We have a beautiful answer to the Bashidon. And we have another beautiful thing to target. With the Toxapex. And we have another fantastic Pokemon for this thing. No need to worry about shielding just yet. But we're bulky enough to tank the hits. And we are able to grab a shield with the Grass Knot. Because they do not want to get hit by Future Sight. Which is what they expected. But now we land it. We have Trevenant. Another perfect answer in the back line for us for this tree. And this person just got the worst possible matchup for them they could have. Whatever they had done, had unless I basically just crashed, they, they, were, they were unable to play around up. The game, just how the cookie crumbles, total hard wall for them. Now we have a lowland sand slash. This is tricky. Am I going to be able to pull and flip this battle around? Lick Thung is able to get some nice lick pressure. What move does this Ferrothorn throw? It is a thunder. Bring the not under half health, even after a couple of fast moves. Bottle Slam is able to chip them down to the red after some extra licks. And I'm going to predict the second thunder. 
and I get the farm down before another move is charged up. And we have a Shadow Typhlosion. But the shield advantage this thing can tear up my whole team. And I'm going to expect the Sand Slash to swap into. Able to grab a shield. I don't think I could have thrown two Dragon Claws, but Lickitung is a sponge for an Ice Punch. Full health Cresselia doesn't have what it takes. If I can have a future site for that Typhlosion, I can get it out. It has a move. Can I survive the Ice Punch? I can. Am I going to be able to get to the next future site in time? They're going to throw and give me the Psycho Cut I need. And they should not have thrown the energy. Otherwise, they could have won. They gave me the win condition I needed. And that's another GG. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for daily Go Bad League videos. Very exciting season. And stay tuned for other Pokemon Go content. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.